A wiki is a website on which users can add, modify, or delete content via a web browser using a rich text editor. Wikis are typically used collaboratively by multiple users. In Blackboard, wikis are often used for collaborative group work, and instructors may add wikis to any of the Blackboard content areas. In this example, the course documents area contains a wiki called Wiki Assignment. To view the wiki or to add content to the wiki, students click the View button. Once you access a wiki, you're able to edit existing pages using the Edit link. You can also access the pages of the wiki from the Pages list, or you can add a new page to the wiki by clicking Add New Page. To add information or change information on the page, click Edit. Campus Pack Wikis utilize a rich text editor for adding and removing content. A rich text editor is an interface for editing text within a browser, which presents the user with a What You See is What You Get editing area. The What You See is What You Get editor displays your content on screen when you're editing in a form closely corresponding to the appearance that will display when it's finished. The tools here on the screen are the tools in the What You See is What You Get editor. To enter information into the wiki, you simply click and start typing. Once you enter text, you can change the appearance of the text using the tools above. The first tool lets you change the formatting of your text. may also change the font used in your wiki by highlighting text, changing the font, or by selecting a font before you begin typing. In addition to changing the formatting, you can also change the font size. The text box editor also has tools for making your text bold, italicized, underlined, or strike through. You can also remove, remove formatting by highlighting text, clicking Remove Formatting. You'll notice it did not remove the formatting of our headings, which you have to do here. You can also change the paragraph alignment using the text box editor, the tools here. may also change your text color. You can also select a background color. On the second row of the text box editor, you have tools for pasting text. You'll find that when you copy and paste text from a Word document, sometimes your formatting gets off. So it's best to either paste it in as plain text and then use the tools here to format your text, or use the Paste from Word option. If you make a mistake, you can use the Undo button to get rid of the text. If you accidentally delete something, you can use Redo to put the information back on your page. The text box editor includes a tool for checking spelling. You can search your document using the find, or you can find and replace. There are tools for adding subscripts and superscripts, and you also have list styles, either an unordered list or a numbered list. You can change the indentation of text using the outdent and indent tools. You can also edit the HTML source. See, I just made that text bold. On the last line of the text box editor, there are tools for inserting hyperlinks and anchors into your pages. Hyperlinks look like this 
and there are clickable links that you can use to access different websites. If I want to turn that into a link, I can use the link icon. turn it into a link. Anchors are useful when you want to link to a different area on your page. So maybe I want this to link down here. I can add my anchor. And then use the link tool to link to my anchor. The text editor tools also allow you to upload files, insert images, and insert media files. To upload a file, you simply click Upload File and locate the file on your computer. And it uploads like this. If you want to insert an image into your wiki, click Insert Image. You can either type in an image URL if you found the image online, or you can click the icon here to browse your computer and locate the image on your machine. Click Insert to insert the image. When you click Insert Media, you can choose a media type from Flash, Shockwave, QuickTime, Windows Media, and Real Media, and then locate the file on your machine. If your media already exists online, such as on a site like YouTube, you can simply put in a link to that video. The Rich Text Editor gives you lots of options for inserting tables. When you choose to insert a table, you select the number of columns and rows. There are options for putting in cell padding and spacing, the alignment of your cells. You can put borders on them. You can set the width and height. And you can set a certain class if you like. Once you insert your table, you can begin typing in it. And then once you have a table, you'll get more tools for setting properties. You can also insert rows or remove rows. You can insert columns and remove columns as well. You can also merge cells and unmerge them. Also included in the text box editor are tools for adding a horizontal rule or line special characters, emotions, and an equation editor. When you're finished making changes to your page, click Save or click Save and Exit. You'll notice at the top of the page you can see the last person who edited the page and the date and time during which they edited. And you also have a tool that lets you see the history of the page. If you want to view a different version of a document, you simply click on a particular student and click View. From this page, you can view previous versions as well as the next version. To add a new page to the wiki, simply click Add New Page. Type in a name for the page and click Continue. I hope that you are now more comfortable with using wikis. If you have any questions about your particular assignment, please contact your instructor.